Hey everyone, Libby here. Here today with a haul for you. Surprise, surprise, I haven't been shopping in a very long time. And there's Bailey. <laughs> He's wagging his tail, which you can't see. <laughs> He's a good boy, I think I'm talking to him. So, finally feeling better after almost two months of being sick and I wanted to go shopping because that's just a normal thing. Didn't really buy a lot of stuff for myself, but got a few bits and pieces, but it was a really nice outing. Kevin came with me as much to help me with the parcels, <laughs> but I said, we didn't, well, we bought a bit, but I'll, I'll show you what we got. It's a, a very much a mixture of things. So let's start with, let's start with Maya. I mainly wanted to go, I'm looking for a new night cream because I've finished the one I was using. Wasn't particularly happy with it, so I wanted to get another one. Well, Bally's disappeared. <laughs> As you can see, I was interrupted by Kevin. Um, so, I went to get a night cream. I'm an ad, couldn't decide which one I wanted. Mainly because the price was more than what I wanted to pay, but I had a gift card for my. Just, so, I ended up getting this the one I was interested in with the Dr. Lewin's one. And they had two, and I couldn't decide which one to get. And they had no samples, but I, I'm pretty sure I sampled this one before. Um, so I ended up getting this one. This was the cheaper of the two. This one was $50, and the other one was $70. So I had looked at a trilogy, no, I had looked at a Natio one as well. And again, no, there's no sample one. And it was $25, I think. And I was nearly going to get that one, I thought. I wasn't. They're happy with the other night cream I had from there, so I thought, oh god, just get this one. I had sampled this one before, and it was sort of in the middle of the three price ranges. So I had 25, the 50, and the 70. So I thought, okay, I'll go this one. But it took me quite some time to decide that. So we'll see how that one goes. I just feel like I, you know, just need something a bit richer than what I was using at the minute. But uh, anyway, got that. And then I also decided since I had my gift voucher and I was down at Maya to pick up another one of these rose hip oils with antioxidants which I really like and again this was $30 so I didn't know it was too badly priced I've been hoping to pick it up on sale from Priceline but when they're on sale sometime but again I had the gift card so. and then I picked up a few Natio things I picked up an eye makeup remover to try I haven't tried their eye makeup remover the one I'm using at the moment is a Sephora one um, so I thought I'd pick up I want to try. I picked up a little concealer. I haven't tried this either, but I'm really happy with the foundation, so I decided to try the concealer, the little wand. I thought that was quite cute. Um, cute little size too, so I'll try that. And I got another of the smoothie, they're called smoothie lip crayons. I've got it on at the moment. It's a different colour for me, like I wasn't sure when I bought it. This is the one I got, and it is called Tea Rose. I sampled it on my hand and I was quite happy with the sample colour. When I got it home I thought, oh it's a more brownie, but actually I think this would be a lovely colour for winter. So, um, very much a sort of a neutral colour, but yeah, um, I think it's nice, so that's good. So, I, they had a promotion, if you spent $38 you got a free gift. And I said to the lady, I'm not quite sure I didn't, <laughs> my brain was not working so I couldn't add up. So she added up and I spent $38 and like 45 cents or something. No, 85 cents I think it was. So brilliant, I got a little gift. Now I would have spent, I would have gone and picked up something else that I would use up anyway. So but I'm going to get a free gift. That's good. So I picked up the purple one, which is uh, renew, the Renew gift, I think this one was. And I had two to choose from. Get, what a cute case. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to use that for. So I'll show you what I've got in that as well. I got a mascara. I've got a few mascaras. I'm not sure if this is the one. I have one of them is my favourites, but I don't think it's that particular one. So I've got that. An illuminating primer, which I've actually got one of them and like that. So that'll be good to have another spare because I've actually started using it finally. I had a nail cream, which is also very nice, and I've been using that one. These are full-size products. And, perfect, because I need one of these. Gentle Turning Facial Cleanser. So, that'll be great. I don't think I've tried that one. That was from Maya for cosmetics. It also made 
two big purchases in Maya. We um, I just want to have a look at the homeware stuff, and we've been looking at getting a new toaster for a while. We thought, oh, we'll go and have a look at the toasters, they were 15% off. Picked one, but they didn't have the one that we wanted in stock, so we didn't get that. And I've also been thinking on and off about getting a waffle maker, so I said that, mentioned it to Kevin, he said, Yes, let's go get one. So we went and got a waffle maker. again all of Breville was 15% off and we had the gift card so like this stuff didn't cost us anything so that was really good so I've got the heart shaped waffle maker what I want to do in these is make my protein pancakes in these the tiny like protein pancakes um, a lot of people say they're better in waffle form than they are in pancake form so I thought that would be nice and we also got another purchase another purchase of a sandwich press we had one in the apartment up in Nelson's Bay and the girls used it a lot. Maybe they'll go to Jaffa Maker just for doing some different things or whether to toast, you know, you can toast like Turkish bread or paninis, you know, do different things in them. So we decided to buy one of these. It's quite a small one. This is the smallest one they had. We don't really need a big one, so this should be fine. So I think that'll be, be a well used thing. I don't know if you care about Kevin's new shoes. He got some new shoes from the athletic foot. I'll show you. That's his new shoes. <laughs> in case you watched the vlog and you wanted to see what he actually ended up with, they're very different for him. Um, his shoes are very much a plain white shoe. These are the first ones he had in the mesh. Now that he's getting into his cycling and stuff, he thought it was time to get um, uh, a shoe that's a bit more cooling. So hopefully he'll like them. Athletes foot are great. We go and get all our joggers there because they're just they're so helpful at um, fitting you properly. And we just, yeah, find them to really good. Okay, went to Target, had looking around. I ended up picking up some pyjamas for Athena, which I kind of like myself, but I decided to get them for her. So I've got the bottoms, the top for her, but she doesn't like the bottoms, so um, I'll probably just take them back. Um, this was the bottom, and I thought she might not have minded the pattern on them and being a pale pink, but see, they don't like pink, so. I have another pair of pants, but I don't know if she would like them either. So, but the top's really nice, it's got a little pocket there, and the material's lovely, and quite a few of her winter pyjamas, probably more tops actually than the bottoms, but they're a bit worn, so she certainly needs a few more for this year, so this was really nice. <laughs> a few things for Christy while I was in there. So I've got this cute little skirt, it's a winter skirt, um, you could probably wear any season, it's not particularly heavy or anything, but it's sort of a, a sort of a, I don't know, it's a funny fabric, I don't know if you can see, it's got like little holes on it, you might be able to just see it there, but I thought it was really pretty and she likes the skirts and I just thought with leggings for winter that would be really nice, plain black skivvy or something, I'm not, these pants that I got for her, this are really nice like, just the pattern pants. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to fit her though, Christian. And then I've got this top to go with it or to wear it separately, whatever. But that was really cute. And it's just a three quarter sleeve. And I thought that was pretty, that was $15. So they were pretty reasonable. I went to Kathmandu. Kevin got some shorts. I'll just quickly show you the shorts that he got. So these are on sale. They're originally $120. And then I went down to, down to what? Seventy-two, so pretty forty percent, no forty dollars off. So that was pretty good. Again, with him doing music riding and stuff, and being really hot still, so he's needing that couple of extra pairs of shorts. And he likes these sort of really light sort of ones. But he's supposed to do with his pockets, so we got the two two pairs of those. So that should keep him going. But he did quite well today. He also got some underpants, but I won't show you them. We need to. Diva, we had a voucher to use up. Picked that was Christy's voucher, so I picked some things up for her. So she loves the horses, so I got this cute scarf with the horses on it. I thought it was really pretty. I like that myself, <laughs> so I got it that. And then we got some little um, headbands. She's been wearing headbands a bit for school. And um, that Diva down at Shaw Harbour Square's clothing, so everything was on sale. So picked up that those for her. And the last shop was Bed Bath and Table. Okay, they had all their, their Easter stuff out on display. It wasn't on sale, you'll probably come on sale in a few weeks, but I might not be going back down there and 
There actually wasn't that much this year that interested me. I had a lot of cute stuff, and if you watch my vlog from the day, I did do a, filmed a little bit in there. Um, and I pop, I took a photo, so I'll pop that in here thanks to the photo. But they said there wasn't a real lot that grabbed me, and I've, I've, my Easter collection's gotten quite big, but I did buy a few things. <laughs> um, bought some plates. I bought these cute little bunny plates, and I thought we'll get one of each. Sometimes I like to have little plates just to put like a little snack on, and I thought they were really, really cute. They had um, mugs as well, and I was tempted to get the mugs, but I'm pretty sure I've got quite a few Easter mugs. But if I don't, I might duck back down and get some, because I just love, I love the colours of these. They're so cute. So I got those and then I thought I'd pick up another two plates for the kids, so or for us or whatever. <laughs> so I thought they were really cute, so that's what I got. But that was all I got. So that was like one of my probably cheapest Easter hauls ever. But the kids all like using these little plates too. I've got a bunny one that I bought in Disney World and it's been used so much it didn't even get put away from like during the year it's always out, so I thought well uh, they're cute too. So yes, yeah, so I was happy with that. So it was my kind of a little shopping haul. I don't know, it wasn't a particularly big haul. Something for everyone, actually, which is unusual. Very much a family haul <laughs> today. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you've got any questions about anything, just um, let me know below. And um, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.